Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple of ways to log off other users on your computer. So if you have a shared computer and you have some other user accounts that are logged on and maybe they walked away and you want to be able to log them off, there are a couple of ways to do so. So depending on which version of Windows Professional Home uh, your methods will vary. So if you're using Windows Professional, uh, there are two ways to do it that we're going to show you, but if you're using the Home Edition, then only one of these ways will work. All right, so let's talk about the way that it'll work for either edition. So on this computer here, we're logged in as Todd. Cindy is logged in with a Microsoft account. Steve is logged in with a local account. Okay, so if we right click the taskbar here and go to Task Manager, then we have a Users section here, and this shows the users, and it shows what's going on with the users, process-wise and so on. Okay, so if you right click on a user, you could sign them off right from here. You could send them a message that'll pop up on their screen next time they log in. But obviously they're not going to see it if they're not using the computer because you're on it. And then you could also switch user account, which will do the same thing as clicking on the count down here. All right, so for example, let's say we wanted to go into Steve's account here and make sure he's got everything closed down before we sign him off. So if you have the appropriate rights, you could click on connect here and put in the password for Steve. And that'll take you right into his account there and then you could shut everything down and so on. All right, let's go back to Todd here. Okay, so let's say we want to sign off Cindy. We could right click, sign off but it gives you a warning that their unsaved data will be lost. So if you don't have their password to get in and close their applications, then this is your only option here. So we click on sign out user. Now you can see they're gone from there and you'd have to go back to your user accounts and then sign them back in. You can see it doesn't say signed in any longer. So let's do that real quick. Okay, go back to the main user here. All right, so that's how you do it from Task Manager. So if you're on a Windows Professional Edition, you can open up an administrative command prompt, CMD, run as administrator. You can't do it in a regular one. Now if we run Query Session, this shows you the accounts that are logged in here. And then all you have to do is log off with the session number here. So let's say we're going to do Cindy again. So she's six here for the ID. Okay, so now if we go back here, you can see Cindy is logged off. So that's pretty simple. Then if we query session again, you'll see that we only have Todd and Steve logged in. All right, so there are two methods to log off other users on your computer. And like I said, if you're using professional version of Windows, you could use the query session. This won't run in the home edition. Uh, but if you're using the home edition, you could use the task manager method from the user account section. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.